So, uh, good afternoon, everyone. Uh, I'm going to change a bit the subject. I'm going to talk about the full provisioning and management of food for the Roman city of Bracara Augusta based on the anthropological analysis that uh, I've made in the, one of the necropolises of the, of the city. Uh, I've divided this presentation in three sections. First of all, uh, a small introduction about some concepts, general concepts about this subject. Uh, then I'm going to explain briefly the, um, the Robin Veal's uh, qualitative, qualitative uh, model of full consumption for Pompeii, which will be the basis of our study for Bracca Augusta, uh, in which I'm going to, to talk about the, the fuel provisioning areas, uh, catchment areas for the, the city and the um, general considerations about the, the wood necessary for the cremations. Uh, so, as, as it's obvious to everyone, uh, for pre-industrial societies, uh, wood was almost the only uh, resource for several activities such as eating, uh, cooking, uh, cremating the dead and construction, and understanding how uh, each of these, uh, how societies collected, managed and used uh, this uh, wood is important uh, for understanding each of these activities, but also in a broader sense to understand the territorial management, landscape use and the, and the environmental impacts of these societies in the, in the environment. Um, surprisingly, uh, there is not a lot of information about this, um, both in classical history, classical e uh, economy, and also in archaeobotany. And when these subjects are addressed, are only in uh, broad general terms and not uh, in quantifiable and qualitative terms backed up by, by our data. One of the few exceptions to this trend is the research undertaken by Robin Hill um, for Pompeii and, and uh, Rome, uh, which I'm going to, to explain briefly. So, for Pompeii, um, uh, this research, uh, Robin Hill's research was based on the um, uh, anthropological study in uh, several sites in, the, in Pompeii. The main species that she identified was Fagus sylvatica, among others, just as oak, hornbeam, and maple. And she also identified the main um, catchment areas of, uh, of wool for the city, uh, such as in the upper mountain slopes, the mid slopes and managed forests, and also cultivated lower slopes. She then, um, she based their model in a series of assumptions, such as that, um, uh, well, ethnographical proxy data related to uh, wood dependence pre industrial societies. Uh, she assumed that uh, all the fuel used in the city was of regional origin, there was no, not uh, in the, the imports of, uh, of wood. And she considered several variables, uh, such as population, esti several estimations for the, for the population, uh, full consumption per person per year, uh, the ratio of uh, raw wood and charcoal, use, uh, charcoal used in the, in the city, uh, charcoal productivity, which means the, the amount of charcoal necessary, the amount of wood necessary for making one ton of charcoal, uh, and for general forest productivity uh, in the area. She compiled everything in, um, in, uh, within a mathematical formula and then formulated this, uh, this um, spreadsheet uh, with the, the, the values, the, the forest area required for each of these, of these variables. Uh, I've, I've tried to adapt some, the, something similar to, to Bracar Augusta. Uh, this city, this Roman city, was founded in the first early century um, as the capital of the Covetus Bracarostanus in the province of Tarraconis, in north northwestern Iberia. The importance of the city grew uh, in the following centuries, uh, becoming the capital of the newly created province of Galatia. Uh, and then, uh, in the, with the barbaric invasions, uh, it became the, the capital of the Suebi kingdom between the 5th and the 7th century. Uh, as any a proper medium-sized provincial capital in the um, in the Roman Empire that all the necessary public buildings such as theaters and Roman baths and, and domes and several domes and also uh, obviously um, several necropolises. Um, the largest one, the one uh, underlined, the necropolis of the road uh, 17, uh, was the largest so far found. It was excavated during one and a half year uh, in 2008 and 2009 when more than 200 uh, burial depositions were identified, mostly uh, cremation deposits. Uh, it was located in the eastern outskirts of the city, alongside this, this road, connecting Bracara to Asturica, and kept being continuously used uh, for almost six centuries. Uh, there, during the excavation, there were thousands of, um, 
sampling, sampling, uh, robotanical sampling, sampling made. Uh, in total, uh, we've analyzed in the last couple of years uh, almost 47,000 charcoal fragments uh, in more than 180 cremation deposits. Um, we've uh, identified almost uh, 30 species, actually 30 species, yeah. Uh, and the Cedus oak was by far the most uh, frequently identified. And overall, overall, the, 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 the total species um, identified, almost three quarters, uh, were, were collected in, in climatic, uh, climatic uh, uh, mixed oak forests. For this uh, uh, data, for this model, we've only used um, the data regarding to the first and second centuries um, uh, AD, because they, they uh, comprised almost all the, the cremation uh, the positions because afterwards uh, there was a start of inhumation uh, uh, practices and the uh, cremation deposits started to, to become fewer. Um, for the among the, the all the, the, the 30 identified species, um, the presence of Pinus silvertis and Fagus sylvatica was particularly interesting uh, because it does not occur naturally in the in the vicinity of, of the city. With the net, uh, nowadays, it only um, exists naturally. Uh, in the Jurias mountain range, which is the, the areas um, highlighted. So it already implied a, a broad area of wood collection to necessary to sustain the city. Um, while applying the Robin Ville's model, um, we've based on the on the same on the same uh, variables that she, she chose. Um, ethnographical proxy data, the full supply of being of regional origin, and uh, we only changed the population estimations according to, to what's uh, currently known for the city. Um, and we also compiled a similar, a similar table with the values um, of the actors necessary to, to supply the city. Um, I've then picked uh, three different scenarios uh, so and placed the, the... I don't know if you can see on the map. Yeah. Um, and, and place the, the, the total area that would have been necessary to, to sustain the city according to these conservative scenarios. The first, first scenario um, relates to a lo the lowest uh, estimations of population and consumption and the highest levels of productivity. And in, do, in this case, it will only be need necessary 700 uh, shark, uh, hectares of wood. I'm always talking about wood. And this is also refers only to uh, wood consumption per year. Um, and more average scenario, combining the, the medium of all these uh, variables, um, would, need, would require the uh, 12,000, uh, roughly 12,000 uh, hectares. And a more worst case scenario with uh, high numbers of, of population and consumption and lowest productivity uh, would, re would require this enormous area. Um, and these are only, uh, these, these areas, uh, the, the, what I, what that I've uh, highlighted only referred to the to they are not exactly the points where we think they were being uh, uh, the wood was being collected, but were just to give a broad sense of the area necessary to to what I'm talking about. Um, of course, the city was not an island. There was a, there was a previous uh, occupations and, uh, and and contemporary occupations. This region is especially interesting because um, it had extensive. Um, uh, density of, of occupation during the Iron Age and also towards the, the Roman Age, with uh, hundreds of, of known sites. Um, and what, when we, when we cross all this information, we we have uh, we, we suspect that the the, the areas of, of uh, fuel wood provision would most likely fall in these great areas, in which the, there are less yeah in which in which there are less known um, uh, sites archaeological sites. And they are uh, particularly interesting because they, they coincide with the areas of, of Pinus and uh, Pinus Silvestris and Fagus, which is this mountain range where they naturally occur. And this would be also a very suitable location for, for, for wood collection because of the, the, the good transportation lines. The, both these roads cross directly through, the, through these forests. And also there was a strong possibility, um, based on ethnographical examples of, of the region, um, that some of this wood might be transporting downstream via rafts uh, using the, the Omi River and the Cavado River, which go past uh, right beneath uh, Maracarabusta. Uh, this region also uh, is, 
is um, particularly uh, interesting because it has one of the highest rainfall, uh, uh, rain, annual rainfall uh, uh, percentages in Europe, uh, which would, would have increased the regeneration. So the, there will be always, uh, at least uh, during the first um, uh, decade, this, uh, centuries of the Roman of the Roman period, would, uh, Roman period would have had uh, extensive forests. Uh, but as soon as the the Romans, the Romans settled, and especially uh, in the in the area of Rakaragusta, the um, the paleontological data from the, this Jerez mountain range, from the uh, lagoon placed here in this this spot, uh, showed a massive deforestation uh, trend. Um, so the there was a the, the wood would not be able to the, wood, the woodlands would not be able to recover it. From the, the the necessity of wood to withstand all this um, all this population all, and all these needs, uh, we've also made some uh, some other uh, experiment with this with this model um, while to calculate the fuel necessary for the cremation. Yeah, yeah. Um, several uh, ethnographic and experimental data uh, point that there will be necessary for to, from 200 uh, to 1,000 uh, kilograms of dried wood to perform a full cremation. And the size of the and the, the, the structure of the pyres are usually standard since prehistory, and using a series of, of logs, large logs or halves or quarters, arranged in this alternated pattern. Um, so, uh, the, in order for the for a cremation, it would, would have been necessary to fell the trees, to cut off trees, entire trees. It not be it would could not be possible to to make a, a pyre with uh, a dried wood collected randomly in the forest. Um, so, in this case, we've used not um, hectares but uh, full oaks, uh, since oaks was was the main um, species identified, and in the region. Uh, mature oaks, uh, about 30 meters high, could, um, could provide up to 15 tons of, uh, of dry wood. So we've estimated for 169 cremations that we have identified in these first two centuries, uh, how much uh, wood regarding to, to these three hypotheses, uh, 250, uh, 500 and 1,000 um, cremation, uh, wood per cremation. Uh, it would only require about 33 Point eight uh, average rocks, uh, weighting five tons each, or thirteen in case of uh, of larger rocks. Because these are very uh, meager results, at least we were expecting much more. We've made um, a crude uh, estimation of the total deaths um, in the city in uh, between these two centuries, and still the um, and then crossed the total values with the the current. Uh, density of oaks um, per actor per actor in the region, and still, uh, even in the worst case scenarios, uh, when each cremation would require one ton of wood, um, there would be only this 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 um, twenty one thousand tons would have been required only two point two hectares uh, uh, to be collected. So it's a very very small number. So uh, as a quick summary. Uh, these quantifiable models for for, for full consumption have a huge potential to provide uh, uh, important insights on territorial management and environmental impacts. Um, the more data we consider in these models, and the more accurate it is, uh, the mo more accurate these models can be, and, and the more useful they can, they can be to, to perceive how the how, um, a, a city, would, the, or the, the size of the city that would, um, uh, the, the size, the, the area outside the city that would have required. Uh, for um, providing all these uh, all these materials, um, the, among the um, the old and the wood necessary for for this variety of um, of activities, cremation would have only required a, a minimal amount, uh, and we are now trying to to improve to fine tune this this model to increase to in, to, in, to, um, to include uh, the most variables possible to to try to to be as accurate as it can, can be. So, thank you.